on behalf of myself and Senator Friedman and Representative Rogers, it was an honor to present this resolution celebrating 100 years of outstanding education uh, to the town of Arlington and to the young people. Exactly 100 years and one day ago, on December 8th, 1921, the recently completed Junior High West was dedicated. At the time, the Arlington School Board was one of the first school committees in the state to adopt the recommendations of a newly founded National Education Association that young adolescents have distinct social, emotional, and academic needs. This is a very special building. It is rare in one's career that they get to celebrate the 100th anniversary of a school. It's even more rare today that we get to celebrate the 100th anniversary of a junior high school or middle school. And as a former teacher of eighth grade, I can say that this is a very special time in students' lives. What are some of your favorite memories of Audison? I remember Mr. Audison. He, he was a respected man, someone you'd look up to. And he lived in the top of the woods there where I used to cut through each day. The homeroom teacher would take attendance. We'd do the P Pledge of Allegiance. And uh, then Mr. Audison would come on with um, announcements. And he, and he had a deep, deep voice. And he would go, good morning, boys and girls. And it was... You know, it was, you knew it was him. We had a whole class for penmanship. Can you imagine that? And we, we start, stopped using the ink well. We had to do the penmanship with a pen, with pen and ink. Going from uh, lock school, where you stayed in the same room all day mm -hmm. and had one teacher all day. Um, being able to do a class and then walk into the next class, that sort of was scary initially because we thought we would get lost. School was pretty big. We didn't have contact with each other much, like clusters of groups, clusters to work on a project, things like that never happened. We were more individual and didn't have the closeness to the other kids. Well, we didn't have a cafeteria. There wasn't that time that we could get together and make friends. I taught in Arlington, let's see. 36 years. And how long, at what age did you join Audison? Like, come talk As a staff member, I joined the Audison at 20, 24. And when you were a student, how old were you? When I was a you? student, it was seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, so I was 12 when I started. Uh, what were your favorite memory, or memories in junior high? Hmm, favorite memories. Probably the um, musicals. What are the musicals like? Uh, very, very simple compared to today. Oh. Um, I mean, we did the uh, background, built the uh, sets and so forth. That's cool. And, uh, what were the lunches like? Well, that, uh, that's an interesting question. I'm one of 11. All of us went here. And my sis, I was telling my sisters yesterday, it was coming, and they said, make sure you talk about the turkey dinner. Now, being one of 11, we didn't buy our lunches too often, but the one lunch we mother wanted us to make sure we had was the turkey dinner. Um, and it was, they cooked the turkeys in the ovens. And in fact, that wall there, I think, is the back of where the ovens were. In there, because the uh, kitchen, uh, the the lunch room was your tech room back over as you come in the building. Oh, there were school rules. Uh, girls had to wear skirts. Um, the boys had to wear pants, no dungarees. Had to wear a tie and a shirt. We, the girls, we had a little thing that we used to do. We, and well, I don't know whether it was Christmas time. We would put bells on our sneakers. That was a no-no. We had to, t we'd get caught right away. For teachers, it was just as bad as for students. Now, I had culottes on of that. And you could not tell it wasn't a skirt. Mr. Audison came up to me, I was in the gym, 
came up to me and said, Marie, I know this doesn't apply to you, but the school committee has said no pants, no matter any form in school. Now I'm standing there. Te technically, I had on pants. So I'm standing there, not moving, so that he wouldn't see the legs. And I, oh, that's okay, <laughs> thank you. And needless to say, my wardrobe changed. Oh no, they were always in the cafeteria. And the girls sat in one end of the cafeteria, and the boys sat at the other end of the cafeteria. Never the twain shall meet. After the Challenger, the uh, NASA set up a contest around the country to name the replacement orbiter. And it was set out to the schools for the kids to come up with a project. And it had to be a multi-task thing. In other words, it couldn't just be oh, this is the name, it will write a little story. You had to have something to go with it. And the class here at the Audison, which was one, my class, along with a Miss, um, Nancy, I can't, Mrs. Crasco, we worked with the kids on it. And um, we won for the state. Out of all of the high schools and junior highs in the state, we won for the state, and from the letters I got from other schools around the country, we actually probably did very well as far as the rest of the country. And there's a book somewhere in the library, we haven't been able to find it yet, with the NASA published, that has the whole thing that the kids wrote in a description of the project, and it was a quilt, and that's another thing, somewhere in the building there's a quilt or somebody has it. But this is the plaque I was sent because it was my students that did it. Wow. And that. Uh, now we walked single file between classes. And I know in some teachers' classrooms, when we walked by between classes, we had to be silent. There was a need to, to toughen us up, to discipline us. Um, whereas I saw by the time I came back 10 years later to teach, there was much more investment in the individual, developing the social and emotional development of kids very consciously. And it was from that desire that the, the grouping system, the clusters first started. Entering into middle school, you could choose, did you want to be in the open cluster or the closed cluster? So it gave us some ownership. Mm. And to be in a closed cluster, it was more traditional. You know, it was more structured, whereas the open, you had to be able to learn um, you know, with a lot of distractions. Having those teams, that was really a middle school mentality before we were actually ever in middle school. And I think that mm -hmm. kind of, it was way ahead of its time, um, both the Gibbs and the Audison Junior High. Do you have any memories of any of your favorite teachers that you could share? So my academic support teacher, she helped me a lot. She helped me get through middle school because without her, I don't know if I would have made it through me, you know, as far as studying and personal life, but it was a class that I looked forward to, whether it was a real class or not. To me, it was a fake class, but I learned more there than I did sitting in a classroom with 20 other kids. Like, I remember enjoying all of my classes. You know, as I got older, I remember people saying, well, no one really remembers middle school because it's not the best time. Mm. And I always remembered all of my teachers' names um, and, and how much I enjoyed it here. It's probably why I became a middle school teacher. <laughs> Teachers were okay, but I think with so much socially going on in my life, I wasn't as focused as I could have been. And my, I do remember my teachers being patient, but just had a lot of friend drama. For some reason, this girl wanted to beat me up, who was a tough girl there. So we were in the back of the Audison, and they said, she's coming out to beat you up. <laughs> I was petrified because I wasn't a fighter. I said, I don't know what I did wrong, or if I did something wrong, I apologize. but. I'd rather be friends, and we were friends since then, and we still are. Um, what did you like about being a Metco student? So I got to experience, for me, it felt like another family, uh, probably closer to ninth grade, so maybe the end of eighth grade. Um, I had two friends, Jesse, Jesse and Jessica. Their moms and their parents' family like took me in when I couldn't go home or I missed the bus, or if I wasn't a Metco student, I probably wouldn't have had that experience. And unfortunately, the Metco students at the time I went to school in Arlington were the only black and brown students. There was that struggle of walking the line, um, you know, like getting flack from my friends 
at in the city and then also getting that like you know those racist undertones and things from some of the kids in Arlington. Are there any other memories that you have that you know haven't touched on? Well um, one thing right beside the gym if you could see the old uh, the way the land was in front of the Junior High West. That was all big uh, hills. And we used to go sledding there a lot. We used to get like 15 to 20 students sitting on one of those unfolded boxes. And we would push oh, off God. and just fly down. It was amazing. We never broke a bone. <laughs> We're still living. I'm so proud of the fact that we created one of the best sixth, seventh, and eighth grade middle schools around. It was that, that genuine respect for one another. Everybody cared. And it was not just students and adults that were looking at each other like, you're the teacher, you're the kid. No, I saw teachers giving so much to students and students just being so happy and pleased that they were being respected and also uh, enjoyed. If there was something that you wish they would still do today. What would you bring back? I think what we've done is we've incorporated, you know, the best strategies that we've learned from, you know, the previous decades. So I don't feel like my grandchildren are going to be cheated. Um, um, I, I just hope they have as positive experiences as I, I did. So as all of us look forward to another century of educational excellence at the Audison Middle School, I just wanted to thank once again many of the teachers who come through these doors every day to help our students learn. I'd like to thank the students here and I'd like to thank our families who entrust their children to get a great educational experience here at the Audison Middle School. So thank you very much for tuning in today and good afternoon. And happy rest of your school life. So make the most of it. It's a good time in life.